Mm-hmm. Hello, Roger. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. So I'm Frank Peipel, and we're here today to do a building shell test to test for air leakage on this, which is the corporate headquarters of Christie Weber Landscaping on the west side of Chicago. Roger, who is the vice president yep. at Christie Weber, was nice enough to volunteer to let us use the building as a case study. You, uh, you knew enough to find us. Uh, right. Part of that is mm -hmm. DBHS had done some initial work uh, when the building was constructed in 2006. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a lead platinum building. It was uh, the first lead platinum newly constructed building in the city of Chicago. Uh, we opened it at the end of 2006, and we have a combination geothermal, solar thermal heating and cooling system. Um, we've got some, some interesting water retention features and other things on the site, so I'm happy to have the test. Six years in seems like a good time to see how the yeah. building's doing. Uh, Great, well I look forward to, to testing it and uh, seeing the grounds and taking a look at the building. Great. It's pretty fun. Thanks. Great. The test is very, very simple, very quick, uh -huh. half an hour usually, just actually to run the test, assuming nothing goes Goes so longest with the computer. Put a door but on the door? We put, it's a tent, and we'll show you, we'll set up a frame. It, depending on the size of the building and how much air we need to pump in to pressurize the building up to our test pressure or depressurize it, mm -hmm. um, we, we can use 6, 8, 12, up to 24 fans if we need to. You turn the fan on, you increase the speed until you get to the house, the house to a test pressure that you want to test it at. Then whatever air is moving through the fan, which we're measuring, how much air is moving through the fan, is by definition the same amount of air that's flowing out of the house through the cracks and stuff. Okay. And that's, that's how we measure the air leakage. The heat pumps in the louvers and stuff seem to be pretty tight, very reasonable and stuff. So in general, not bad. I, I would say if you want to go ahead and do those three things, I would be more than happy to just come back. If that doesn't tighten it up sufficiently, we can really find then at that point, and we can do a little more detective work rather than quantifying the leakage, we can actually go to do a detective work about okay. what's actually going on. They should be very easy to fix. And that's one of the things about air leakage, incidentally, oftentimes, it could be fairly cheap, straightforward fixes that really can save a lot of money in the, in the long term. 